Tau Ceti is a star in the constellation Cetus that is spectrally similar to the Sun, although it has only about 78% of the Sun's mass. At a distance of just under 12 light years from the Solar System, it is a relatively nearby star, and is the closest solitary G class star. The star appears stable, with little stellar variation, and is metal deficient. Observations have detected more than 10 times as much dust surrounding Tau Ceti as is present in the Solar System. Since December 2012, there has been evidence of possibly five planets orbiting Tau Ceti, with two of these being potentially in the habitable zone. Because of its debris disk, any planet orbiting Tau Ceti would face far more impact events than Earth. Despite this hurdle to habitability, its solar analog characteristics have led to widespread interest in the star. Given its stability, similarity and relative proximity to the Sun, Tau Ceti is consistently listed as a target for the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and it appears in some science fiction literature. It can be seen with the unaided eye as a third magnitude star. As seen from Tau Ceti, the Sun would be a third magnitude star in the constellation Boa Paragraph Tess. Name Tau Ceti does not have a widely recognized traditional name, and is usually simply referred to as Tau Ceti. The name Tau Ceti is the Bayer designation for this star, established in 1603 as part of German celestial cartographer Johann Bayer's Uranometria star catalogue, it is number T in Bayer's sequence of constellation Cetus. It has the proper name Dari Menthol. In the catalogue of stars in the calendarium of Alchsasi al Malakit, written at Cairo about 1650, this star was designated the Lith al Ne 1 half MRT, which was translated into Latin as Tertia Struthionum, meaning the third of the ostriches. This star, along with I set, I set, I paragraph set, and I set, were al Ne 1 half MRT, the hen ostriches. In Chinese, the square celestial granary refers to an asterism consisting of ICT, I to the first CT, ICT, I paragraph CT, ICT and 57 CT. Consequently, ICT itself is known as the fifth star of square celestial granary. Motion The proper motion of a star is its amount of movement across the celestial sphere, determined by comparing its position relative to more distant background objects. Tau Ceti is considered to be a high proper motion star, although it only has an annual traverse of just under two arc seconds. It will require about 2,000 years before the location of this star shifts by more than a degree. A high proper motion is an indicator of closeness to the Sun. Nearby stars can traverse an angle of arc across the sky more rapidly than the distant background stars and are good candidates for parallax studies. In the case of Tau Ceti, the parallax measurements indicate a distance of 701711258269262371111 unregistered trademark 11.9 Li. This makes it one of the closest star systems to the Sun, and the next closest spectral class G star after Alpha Centauri A. The radial velocity of a star is its motion toward or away from the Sun. Unlike proper motion, a star's radial velocity cannot be directly observed but must be determined through measurement of the spectrum. Due to the Doppler shift, the absorption lines in the spectrum of a star will be shifted slightly toward the red if the star is moving away from the observer, or toward blue when it moves toward the observer. In the case of Tau Ceti, the radial velocity is about a 17 km per second, with the negative value indicating that it is moving toward the Sun. The distance to Tau Ceti, along with its proper motion and radial velocity, allow the motion of the star through space to be calculated. The space velocity relative to the Sun is about 7004370000 unregistered trademark 37 km per second. This result can then be used to compute an orbital path of Tau Ceti through the Milky Way. It has a mean galactocentric distance of 7000969999999999 unregistered trademark 9.7 kPa and an orbital eccentricity of 0.22. Physical properties The Tau Ceti system is believed to have only one stellar component. A dim optical companion has also been observed with magnitude 13.1. As of 2000, 
It was 7002137000000 unregistered trademark 137 arcseconds distant from the primary. It may be gravitationally bound, but it is considered more likely to be a line of sight coincidence. Most of what is known about the physical properties of Tau CT and its system has been determined through spectroscopic measurements. By comparing the spectrum to computed models of stellar evolution, the age, mass, radius and luminosity of Tau CT can be estimated. However, using an astronomical interferometer, measurements of the radius of the star can be made directly to an accuracy of 0.5%. It deploys a long baseline to measure angles much smaller than can be resolved with a conventional telescope. Through such means, the radius of Tau CT has been measured to be 79.3 a plus or minus 0.4% of the solar radius. This is about the size that is expected for a star with somewhat lower mass than the Sun. Equals rotation equals, the rotation period for Tau Ceti was measured by periodic variations in the classic H and K absorption lines of singly ionized calcium, or Ca2. These lines are closely associated with surface magnetic activity, so the period of variation measures the time required for the activity sites to complete a full rotation about the star. By this means the rotation period for Tau Ceti is estimated to be 7006293760000 unregistered trademark 34D. Due to the Doppler effect, the rotation rate of a star affects the width of the absorption lines in the spectrum. So by analyzing the width of these lines, the rotational velocity of a star can be estimated. The projected rotation velocity for Tau Ceti is Vector sin i a per mil 1 km per second, where vec is the velocity at the equator and i is the inclination angle of the rotation axis to the line of sight. For a typical G8 star, the rotation velocity is about 7003250000 unregistered trademark 2.5 km per second. The relatively low rotational velocity measurements may indicate that tau ct is being viewed from nearly the direction of its pole equals metallicity equals, the chemical composition of a star provides important clues to its evolutionary history, including the age at which it formed. The interstellar medium of dust and gas from which stars form is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium with trace amounts of heavier elements. As nearby stars continually evolve and die, they see the interstellar medium with an increasing portion of heavier elements. Thus younger stars will tend to have a higher portion of heavy elements in their atmospheres than do the older stars. These heavy elements are termed metals by astronomers and the portion of heavy elements is the metallicity. The amount of metallicity in a star is given in terms of the ratio of iron, an easily observed heavy element, to hydrogen. A logarithm of the relative iron abundance is compared to the Sun. In the case of Tau Ceti, the atmospheric metallicity is roughly equivalent to about a third the solar abundance. Past measurements have varied from a 0.13 to a 0.60. This lower abundance of iron indicates that Tau Ceti is almost certainly older than the Sun. Its age had previously been estimated to be about 7017315576000 unregistered trademark 10 GAR but is now thought to be around half that at 7017183034080000 unregistered trademark 5.8 GAR. This compares with 7017144218232000 unregistered trademark 4.57 GAR for the Sun. However, Computed age estimates for Tau Ceti can range from 4.4 a Euro 7017378691200 unregistered trademark 12 GAR, depending on the model adopted. Besides rotation, another factor that can widen the absorption features in the spectrum of a star is pressure broadening. The presence of nearby particles will affect the radiation emitted by an individual particle. So the line width is dependent on the surface pressure of the star, which in turn is determined by the temperature and surface gravity. This technique was used to determine the surface gravity of Tau Ceti. The log g, or logarithm of the star's surface gravity, is about 4.4 euro very close to the log g equals 4.44 for the sun. Equals luminosity and variability equals, 
the luminosity of Tau Ceti is equal to only 55% of the Sun's luminosity. A terrestrial planet would need to orbit this star at a distance of about 701110471850949000 unregistered trademark 0.7 AU in order to match the solar insulation level of Earth. This is approximately the same as the average distance between Venus and the Sun. The chromosphere of Tau Ceti Euro the portion of a star's atmosphere just above the light-emitting photosphere Euro currently displays little or no magnetic activity, indicating a stable star. One nine-year study of temperature, granulation, and the chromosphere showed no systematic variations. CAR-2 emissions around the H and K infrared bands show a possible 11-year cycle, but this is weak relative to the Sun. Alternatively it has been suggested that the star could be in a low activity state analogous to a Maunder Minimum a Euro a historical period, associated with the Little Ice Age in Europe, when sunspots became exceedingly rare on the Sun's surface. Spectral line profiles of Tau Ceti are extremely narrow, indicating low turbulence and observed rotation. The amplitude of the star's oscillations are about half those of the Sun, and have a lower mode lifetime equals debris disk equals in 2004 a team of uk astronomers led by jane greaves discovered that tau ceti has more than 10 times the amount of cometary and asteroidal material orbiting it than does the sun this was determined by measuring the disk of cold dust orbiting the star produced by collisions between such small bodies this result puts a damper on the possibility of complex life in the system because any planets would suffer from large impact events roughly ten times more frequently than Earth. Greaves noted at the time of her research that it is likely that, any planets will experience constant bombardment from asteroids of the kind believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs. Such bombardments would inhibit the development of biodiversity between impacts. However, it is possible that a large Jupiter-sized gas giant could deflect comets and asteroids. The debris disk was discovered by measuring the amount of radiation emitted by the system in the far infrared portion of the spectrum. The disk forms a symmetric feature that is centered on the star, and the outer radius average is 701282278828850000 unregistered trademark 55 AU. The lack of infrared radiation from the warmer parts of the disk near Tau Ceti imply an inner cutoff at a radius of 701214959787000000 unregistered trademark 10 AU. By comparison, the solar system's Cooper belt extends from 30 Euro 701274798935350000 unregistered trademark 50 AU. To be maintained over a long period of time, this ring of dust must be constantly replenished through collisions by larger bodies. The bulk of the disk appears to be orbiting Tau Ceti at a distance of 35 Euro 701274798935350000 unregistered trademark 50 AU, well outside the orbit of the habitable zone. At this distance, the dust belt may be analogous to the Cooper belt that lies outside the orbit of Neptune in the solar system. Tau Ceti shows that stars need not lose large disks as they age and such a thick belt may not be uncommon among sun-like stars. Tau Ceti's belt is only 1 or 20th as dense as the belt around its young neighbor, Epsilon Eridani. The relative lack of debris around the sun may be the unusual case, one research team member suggests the sun may have passed close to another star early in its history and had most of its comets and asteroids stripped away. Stars with large debris disks have altered astronomical thinking about planet formation. Debris disk stars, where dust is continually generated by collisions, appear to form planets readily. Life and planet searches, principal factors driving research interest in Tau Ceti are its sun-like characteristics and their implications for possible planets and life. Hall and Lockwood report that the term solar-like star, solar analog, and solar twin, are progressively restrictive descriptions. Tau Ceti fits the second category, given its similar mass and low variability, but relative lack of metals. The similarities have inspired popular culture references for decades, as well as scientific examination. Tau Ceti was a target of a few radial velocity planetary searches. As of 1988, 
observations ruled out any periodical variations attributable to massive planets around Tau Ceti inside of Jupiter-like distances. Up until December 2012 ever more precise measurements continued to rule out such planets. The velocity precision reached so far is about 11 meters per second measured over a five-year time span. This result excludes the presence of hot Jupiters, and probably excludes any planets with minimum mass greater than or equal to Jupiter's mass and with orbital periods less than 15 years. In addition, a survey of nearby stars by the Hubble Space Telescope's Wide Field and Planetary Camera was completed in 1999, including a search for faint companions to Tau Ceti. None were discovered to limits of the telescope's resolving power. These searches only excluded larger brown dwarf bodies and giant planets so smaller, Earth-like planets in orbit around the star were not precluded. If hot Jupiters did exist in close orbit they would likely disrupt the star's habitable zone. Their exclusion was thus considered positive for the possibility of Earth-like planets. General research has shown a positive correlation between the presence of planets and a relatively high metallicity parent star, suggesting that stars with lower metallicity such as Tau Ceti have a lower chance of having planets. Primitive life on Tau Ceti planets might reveal itself through an atmospheric composition unlikely to be inorganic, just as oxygen on Earth is indicative of life. Equals SETI and HAB cat equals. The most optimistic search project to date was Project Ozma, which was intended to search for extraterrestrial intelligence by examining selected stars for indications of artificial radio signals. It was run by the astronomer Frank Drake who selected Tau Ceti and Epsilon Eridani as the initial targets. Both are located near the solar system and are physically similar to the Sun. No artificial signals were found despite 200 hours of observations. Subsequent radio searches of this star system have also turned up negative. This lack of results has not dampened interest in observing the Tau Ceti system for biosignatures. In 2002, Astronomers Margaret Turnbull and Jill Tata developed the catalogue of nearby habitable systems under the auspices of Project Phoenix, another SETI endeavour. The list contained more than 7004170000000 unregistered trademark 17,000 theoretically habitable systems, approximately 10% of the original sample. The next year, Turnbull would further refine the list of the 30 most promising systems out of 7003500000 unregistered trademark 5000 within 100 light years of the Sun, including Tau Ceti. This will form part of the basis of radio searches with the Allen Telescope Array. She also chose Tau Ceti for a final short list of just five stars suitable for searches by the Terrestrial Planet Finder Telescope System commenting that these are places I'd want to live if God were to put our planet around another star. Equals planets equals, on December 19, 2012, evidence was presented that is consistent with a system of five planets orbiting Tau Ceti. The planet's estimated minimum masses are between two and six times the mass of Earth and their orbital periods range from 14 to 640 days. One of them, tentatively named Tau Ceti e appears to orbit about half as far from Tau Ceti as Earth does from the Sun. With Tau Ceti's luminosity of 52% that of the Sun and a distance from the star of 0.552 AU, the planet would receive 1.71 times as much stellar radiation as Earth does, slightly less than Venus with 1.91 times Earth's. Nevertheless, some research places it within the star's habitable zone. Planetary Habitability Laboratory has calculated that Tau CTF, which would receive 28.5% as much starlight as Earth, compared to Mars with 43%, would be narrowly within the habitable zone of the star as well. The habitable zone for this star, defined as the locations where liquid water could be present on an Earth-like planet, is at a radius of 0 0.55 a Euro 1.16 AU, where 1 AU is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. See also, Epsilon Eridani, List of Nearest Stars, Tau Ceti and Fiction. Notes. References. External links, Near Star Catalog, Tau Ceti at Jim Kaler Star Site, Tau Ceti, Life Amidst Catastrophe. At Century Dreams, Signals Embedded in the Radial Velocity Noise.
periodic variations in the tau ct velocities. 